So if you've been watching Drag Week, uh, I'll bet you've seen my buddy John's Beretta. Um, on day zero, the uh, tech day, he put like three rods through the side of the block because uh, his fuel pump was getting weak and did not like the nitrous. Um, but uh, 1320 video uh, has some stuff on him, uh, and it's blowing up the internet. Um, it makes my heart super happy to see all this Beretta love going around. Um, and I figured I'd tell... Tell a little bit about the story. Um, he's pretty busy at the moment, still running Drag Week. So uh, I'll throw this video together and uh, give you the scoop. So I've known John for 15 years. It was uh, 2006 when I met him at a Beretta Fest. Um, that was back when... He had a different Beretta. I had a different Beretta. Uh, we both had different women at that point. Um, but uh, known each other for a long time. Been to each other's weddings and stuff. Um, he's a uh, good dude. He's one of the uh, top dogs with uh, Beretta Fest that uh, is set up every year to, uh, you know, different places all over the country to uh, have Berettas meet up. I hit it about half the time, but he's a, he's a diehard. He's there every single year with his wife getting everything set up and going. Um, and, uh, I'm happy to see him get all this recognition too, cause he is, he is diehard Beretta guy. He's got, I think three right now. He's got his, his pink car that everybody knows. Um, he's got a, uh, a yellow Indy pace car. Um, and then he also has an experimental all wheel drive twin turbo car that came straight from the, uh, Chevy, what do they call it? The Chevy toy box or something, uh, that went up for sale back when, uh, GM went bankrupt. I ended up snagging that thing. That thing's pretty cool. So I know, I mean, I've been I've been drag racing with John a bunch of different times. At, well, I actually tracks all over the country when we were doing Beretta Fest. A lot of, a lot of it at uh, Lebanon Valley in Albany, um, which is where my Beretta broke the NA record for a front-wheel drive naturally aspirated car. Um, and he still hasn't beat me at that yet. Uh, <laughs> he, I think he's uh, got a little extra motivation to do that since I broke the record. Uh, the NA record, so I assume that's probably that day is probably coming when he's going to break mine. Um, but uh, we will see. That hasn't happened yet. But uh, his car that he's got now is a '96. It was a base model. He put a Z26 kit on it, um, put a cowl hood, some Euro headlights and taillights and stuff. And for a pink car, I guess it's okay. I gave him a Barbie Beretta sticker a long time ago that uh, he didn't think it was as cool as I did. So like I said before, his uh, he had a, a built 3.5 with a cam. He had the pistons coated. Uh, I think it was still stock internals, but he had the pistons coated, uh, ported heads. He DIY ported his own heads. Um, and uh, it was really a pretty friggin' sweet car. It ran 13.5-ish, I think, NA. And then I think he was running like 12.3 or 12.4 uh, on the nitrous. And um, I believe it was his first run of the day uh, at, at Drag Week. Uh, apparently the fuel pump was getting weak. He made some test hits two weeks ago, um, and everything was fine, but, uh, it must have gone lean and, uh, it put, uh, he said he counted at least three rods. He could see through the window and the oil pan, um, through that three, five. So, uh, he was kind of, you know, really unhappy with that the first day. And, uh, then I guess some strangers bought him an engine hoist, um, Picked it up from Harbor Freight and uh, gave him an engine hoist so that he could swap it uh, right at the track. It was at US 131. And um, so he found a 3.1 at a junkyard. Uh, he couldn't get another 3.5 because they have a different reluctor wheel on the crank. And to run it with the old EFI that the Breda has, uh, which is like 10 years older than the, uh, the 3.5 engines, um, he had to grab a 3.1 because uh, the reluctor on the 3.5 got trashed. Um, and, uh, had run a 3.1 and I saw his first, uh, his first run after swapping it was a 16.4, which is like four seconds slower than he had been running, uh, with the 3.5 with nitrous. Um, but, uh, it's a, it's a good story of perseverance. Um, he, he brought his trailer out behind him and, uh, I talked to him about like, 
Well, that's not really going to be easy to get a dead car and a trailer home. You're going to have to do like a U-Haul, put the trailer in the back of the, the box truck of the U-Haul, and then, you know, drag the car behind that or something. Um, so it made sense to go ahead and swap an engine. I mean, yeah, it's slow now, uh, but he's still making the checkpoints and, um, you know, he's gotten a ton of attention by, uh, by doing that. And, uh, it is, it is cool. I've always, I thought about doing drag week with my car for a long time, but, um, I break stuff so often it was like, ah, I don't know if I want to do that. Um, but, uh, looking back at it now, I was like, man, even if I did break stuff, it, it would have been a cool experience. Um, so uh, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do drag week with my LS Beretta. It's not going to be a drag car really. Um, but it should throw down some respectable times. I would think 12s or 13s, you know, he, he drives that thing all over the place. Um, and he has helped other people fix their Berettas in the parking lot of Beretta fests all over the country, uh, because he's just a good dude. Um, and when you drive around cars that are 25, 35 years old, uh, they're going to break down. So there's always some repairs that end up happening in the parking lot at Beretta Fest. And uh, John is usually the first one to step up and, uh, you know, get his hands dirty to, to help get people home.